Well, the latest batch of late April snowfall isn't doing enough to discourage 7 and 4's Holly Baker from taking part in any outdoor activities. No, that's right. She's out there in the elements this morning. She's giving a fly fishing a try. We're joined now on the Boardman River right in downtown Traverse City with Holly Baker. Holly, how's it going out there this morning? Hey Brody, it's going pretty good. I'd say that the water is a little cold this morning, but I think it's always cold. So I'm down here in the Boardman River as fishing season is never over in Michigan, but trout fishing season opens on Saturday. So I decided to pull on some waders and get a lesson from the experts at Orvis Streamside. So I'm joined this morning by Greg Miller. How you doing, Holly? Great, thanks for waking up this morning. And fly fishing is a great sport that a lot of people like to enjoy. And you have uh, lessons and tour guides or guides all the time. So what's uh, what do people need to know when they when they go fly fishing? Well, Holly, I mean, uh, you know, number one thing here, we got a uh, water's a little bit high today, so this we got to make high sure water. that uh, we stay safe and uh, be careful of where we're walking and things. But uh, you know, you want to make sure that uh, you get some lessons or some good instruction before you go out there, uh, which will make it uh, a lot easier for you. And I've never I've never done it before, so can you show me a little bit about casting and how to hold the rod correctly? Sure, yeah, let me okay. go and take this rod. Okay, and it's much lighter do, than I thought it was going to be. Just kind of hold it in your hand, finger up there, your thumb okay. on top, okay. okay, and your elbow bent a little bit like that, okay, okay, and all we're going to do is what we call like a pickup and a delivery, okay, so you're going to pick the line up, there you go, you're oh. fishing, Holly. That's, <laughs> this is pretty easy. Okay. Why don't you try that on your own? It's Watch so out much for the trees in the back there. <laughs> don't Holly. want to get stuck. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. This uh, pole is, you know, it's very easy to kind of there cast. You go. Nice cast. That was a beautiful cast. Oh, great! The way. A beautiful cast. The perfect cast. <laughs> And uh, what, what's at the end here that's going to attract fish to me? Well, what we've got on here today is actually um, uh, a, a little fly that is uh, an attractor pattern for the fish. I mean, uh, usually it would be a little bit warmer than it is right now, Holly, and we'd have some insects actually on the water, but uh, it's a little bit too cold uh, for that. So we've got what we call a little attractor pattern on there, and maybe we can get something to Maybe we can get come something up and to eat bite. That. There you go. All right, and these, like you said, the conditions for fly fishing today, the water's a little high, but normally it would be a little lower, and then this would be perfect. Yeah, out here in the, on the Boardman River, where we're standing here, normally this water would be about a, a foot and a half or so lower than what it is right now. We'd be able to walk out there a little bit further. We'd be able to go up and down the river a little bit and uh, it'd be a lot easier uh, and this is different is and this is different from regular fishing because it's a line really you're casting the line yeah exactly holly the main difference between fly fishing and uh, your standard fishing is that uh, with standard fishing you're casting a large lure that's on the end of the line and you're using the weight of that lure to actually cast out there with fly fishing we're using a small little fly that's basically weightless. So we actually have a weighted line uh, that's tapered that allows us to cast that uh, artificial insect out there on the water. So hopefully the fish will see it. Hopefully they'll see it. We'll get a few bites this morning. We're gonna stick around here, keep on fishing here in the Boardman River, downtown Traverse City. I'm with Greg Miller from Orvis Stream Side, where you can get lessons and instruction all for you personalized. I'm live in Traverse City, Holly Baker, 7 and 4 News. Thanks, Holly. The latest batch of April snowfall isn't doing enough to discourage 7 and 4's Holly Baker from getting in the outdoors this morning. <laughs> that is right. This morning she, she's out giving fly fishing a try. And we That's joined right. her live on the Boardman River in downtown Traverse City for more on how you can get ready for the official start to the trout season. How's it going, Holly? Hey Megan, it's going pretty good out here. You know, the water's a little cold this morning, but you know, it was also snowing last night. But we're out here and uh, improving to the world, you know. Fly fishing is not just a sport for guys. I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm here with Greg Miller from Hi, Orvis Streamside in downtown Traverse City. And you give lessons and you take tours and pretty much anyone can learn to fly fish, right? Uh, yeah, Holly, uh, we do uh, schools every weekend uh, over at the Homestead uh, Resort and then out here on the Boardman River on uh, 
on Sundays, and we're getting more and more women in our classes. Great. Uh, and they seem to do pretty good. Actually, <laughs> the women seem to be better casters than the men, uh, actually. So. I believe it. You know, the Borden River is a great place to do it also because this is a really good spot for trout fishing as well. Well, the Borden's a Blue River uh, trout stream, uh, Holly, and uh, we do get uh, good runs of steelhead in the river here. There's uh, other uh, resident trout that uh, live in here year round. Uh, they're in the process of removing uh, some of the dams on the river also to make it even a better fishery than it is right now. An even better fishery. All right, well, we, sh we showed some casting. Let's see if I can remember how to hold this even. There you go, Holly. Like remember, I was kind of keep your thumb on thumb top. Thumb on top. Okay. And then it's back and like that, right? Good job, yep, pick up and delivery. So what is uh, one of those guided, what are those even like? It's all day, so can you, people expect to be catching a lot of uh, fish? They can expect to catch a lot of fish, Holly, and uh, our trips are either a half day trip or we do a full day trip. Um, we have a nice lunch out on the river. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So you can expect to get a few bites, hopefully. Uh, th and this is fly fishing, so there's actually, what, what's the deal with the insects involved here? Well, the insects actually, Holly, um, are aquatic insects. Uh, they spend the majority of their life underwater, living in the muck and on the the, the trees and uh, at certain times of the year those insects actually hatch and come up to the surface and uh, that's uh, when we like to fish for them and we use uh, artificial flies that are designed to imitate the various insects that are hatching. It's a pretty, pretty complicated process or is this pretty easy? I'll, it's pretty basic. It's a few basic things that you have to learn, but after that, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Anybody can do it, Holly. It's uh, uh, not as complicated as a lot of people think. Uh, a few uh, basic lessons, and uh, anybody can get out there and fly fish. All right, so if they want to come take a lesson, they can just stop in Orvis, give you a call? Stop in the store, give us a call, and we'd be happy to uh, set them up in one of our classes or with a guided fishing trip. All right, awesome. I think, uh, I think this lesson here this morning, I already feel like I'm getting a sense of what I need to know for fly fishing. And, of course, I've got uh, half your fishing game report, Joe, r live right here, and right now it's no bites. No bites for us, <laughs> for Greg and I. Again, I was live here in Traverse City in the Boardman River with the experts from Morvis Streamside. Greg Miller, thanks again for joining me this morning. You're welcome, Holly. And the lesson. Thanks. All right, live in Traverse City, I'm Holly Baker, 704 News.